<clears throat> Hello and welcome. Today we are playing a game that doesn't mess around with its name. It doesn't use something meaningless like Dikadoku. Instead it gets straight to the point. It's a quantum game with photons. It's a game where we have a laser. Laser shoots light, as laser often does. In fact, this is actually going to shoot a single particle of light, a photon, but we'll talk more about that later. Um, so we have a laser, we have a rock, which for some reason has eyes on, we have a mirror, and here we have a photon detector. So the photon detector detects photons if a photon, so if some light goes in this direction, it will see it and say that it saw it. Um, otherwise, if it goes in from any other direction, it will not. So here, the light goes towards the photon detector from the wrong direction and also gets uh, absorbed by a rock. So that's going nowhere. But we all know about how mirrors work and how they change the direction of light. So we just put a mirror in here and it hits that mirror already there. And it's already going towards the photon detector. We just need another mirror. We're allowed to put two on and we will get it go in. It makes a lovely noise when it goes in. Um, so that level was done, successful. Now we have something a little bit more difficult. We have lots of photon detectors and we have to share out the laser beam between them all. For that we have a beam splitter. A beam splitter, as it says here, reflects half of the beam and lets the other half go through. So it's one of those mirrors that they have in cop dramas where someone's being interrogated in a room with a big mirror and then there are some people standing behind the mirror um, talking about the plot in a thoughtful manner. Because uh, when the light from the, the interrogation room hits a mirror, some of it gets reflected, making it look like a mirror, and some of it passes through. And um, the people discussing the plot are always sitting in the dark, so very little light goes the other way, giving the person being interrogated any clue that it's happening. But we're not here to talk about police dramas. These are our beam splitters. Like the mirror, we can change the direction. And um, if we put one here, let's see what happens. We fire the laser. Some of it continues there. Some of it goes up there. And each of them get a share of 50% of the probability that the photon will hit. So if we have a normal laser which spits out tons of photons, then 50% of them will go up here and 50% of them will go there. It's an even split between the two. But because it's a single photon, um, it's only one chunk of light. It can't be split, so it has to go one place and it just ends up going here. In this case, if we run it again, it'll probably go the other way. If we run it again, it'll probably go the other way. If we run it again, it'll probably go the other way. Ah, oh, thank goodness at last. I was uh, really relying on gambler's fallacy there. So if we want to share it out a bit more, we can put another beam splitter in here. So that one will share it between... Well, that direction actually won't be any good. So this will share it between that one and then this direction and this direction gets shared between these two. So now we have three beam splitters that have some share and we already, uh, sorry, three photon detectors and we have two more beam splitters that we can use. So now it shares it between a lot of them and we use this final one to split this one here and hopefully that makes some sort of sense and I keep forgetting how to turn on the laser but here we go we win so it ended up going over here but it was actually split between everything these two get a bit of a bum deal the light's gone through so many beam splitters in that time that they only get 13% of it but can't complain can you well I suppose they get 12 and a half and it rounds up to 13 now we have three beam splitters we can put uh, sorry, three photon detectors. We can put two beam splitters. Uh, what are we going to do? 
Well, there's not many places we can put it, so we can go sort of systematically. What if we put one here? Well, the laser's going to go nowhere near it, so that's pretty stupid. What if we put one here? Well, the laser will let it go into the area with everything else, but also send it up into nothingness, so that's also pretty stupid. What if we put it here? Two of them get it. Um, so that's probably good. Now let's try and work out where to put our last one. So here, it will do nothing. Uh, here, well, the best, well, if we had it at an angle like this, it would send it off into nowhere, so that's not a good idea. If we had it at an angle like this, it would reflect some back to the laser, so that's not a good idea. But if we had it here, it would share it between these two and then also send some back to this one. By so the stuff that comes out of here would reflect off that and go into there. So in the end, we get what we need. We win! I just uh, had another go at this a few moments ago on a previous take. And I looked at this and I could not think for the life of me what to do. This was a proper puzzle. But um, this time, because I, I'd already worked it out and knew what I was doing, I seemed a bit more capable. But last time, when I got it, I was really happy with myself. More happy than I should be, given that I actually have a PhD in this subject. Anyway, now we're getting interference, so what does that mean? Run it to see what happens. Crazy, isn't it? It's going to be crazy. Okay. So, bounce, they recombine, and what was that? So it came out of here, it's split between those two. Okay, now we've got two beams. This one just bounces off here and bounces off there. Okay, we're just redirecting it. They both come into this, and then we would expect... Um, so this one over here, we'd expect some of it to go out there and some of it to go out there. This one over here would expect some of it to go out there, some of it to go out there. So in total, we would expect some of it to go down here and some of it to go along there. But that is not what we saw. We saw it only go one way. So why just one way? Well, it went the same way, so horizontal, that it came in. So there's some lack of symmetry over there. And that's reflected by a lack of symmetry over here. Uh, this is due to an interference effect. So the two laser beams that come out here uh, affect each other such that they actually cancel each other out. Whereas the two laser beams that come out here, so the one from this direction and the one from this direction which has been uh, reflected, they don't cancel each other out, but they actually add up and strengthen each other. So this is the interference effect that we get. And the game doesn't tell you how to do the maths of this interference effect. It just uh, hopes that you somehow get an idea of how to do it uh, instinctively, and so learn something instinctively about how uh, these uh, systems work. So if we have this thing which turns a horizontal beam up here to a horizontal beam down there, then we can just... Uh, reverse it to turn a horizontal beam down there into a horizontal beam up here. So let's just make an opposite bunch of stuff. So there's those two beam splitters. So we have two like this. And then we have these two mirrors. So we do two like this. And hopefully that will reverse the interference effect. So there it comes out here. Then it turns into lots of stuff again. And then does that. It worked! Yay! Again I solved the problem that I have a PhD in. So uh, now we've got other stuff going on. So here we've got glass. Glass changes interference. Well what glass actually does is it takes longer for light to travel through glass than it does to travel through air. So it's like we're actually making it go a little bit further distance when it's traveling through glass. And that introduces new uh, factors to the problem, as does having a mine. Oh, I want to set the mine off. So, um, yeah. Come on. I think the photon ended up over here rather than going into the mine, which was obviously a shame. Let's see if... We 
For some reason, I just want to set the mine off rather than do anything useful at the moment. That's probably not what I should be doing. Uh, if I put a similar bit of glass over here, it might have an interference effect that sets off that bomb. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, but if you were actually playing the game, you try and do it so that it sets off that photon detector. <coughs> so here we are. This is the quantum game with photons. It shows you, or it gives you puzzles based on beam splitters and mirrors and uh, blocks of glass and bombs and and lasers and I think it's pretty fun and it also teaches you something uh, intuitively about how quantum systems work about how interference effects work we have got up to the fifth level there are 34 levels so there's plenty to do what the hell is that an absorb an absorptive polarizer west east and what's going on here a sugar solution see there's plenty of stuff to go on and what's that? A Faraday rotator. You're going to learn some stuff and do some good puzzles in this. So I, I would thoroughly recommend it. You just go to a website. You play it in your browser. It is completely free. And you can also check out the source code. I think that's a little bit off your screen. But you could also check out the source code. So uh, have fun with this. It was made by these guys who are all researchers in this field. So, um, yeah, have a go. Also, there is a game called Ket, Ket maybe, 2.0, uh, which is basically the same thing, but in real life. You get mir mirrors, you get beam splitters, and you get, of course, a laser. Uh, it doesn't send out single photons, of course, and it won't have Faraday rotators and whatnot, but... Uh, it might also be fun if you wanted to play things in real life instead of um, on a browser. Uh, for this one, it's currently unavailable. I don't know when they've got it back in stock. Maybe they don't make it anymore. But just to let you know that things like this exist and you might be able to find them. Okay, this has been Digidoku, uh, which probably should be called Quantum Game What Does Quantum Error Correction Stuff. Oh no, that would be a bit long. See, I don't have something. Or oh, Quantum Game with Anions. Yeah, this has been the Quantum Game with Anions channel telling you all about uh, Quantum Game with Photons. Thanks for watching.